Hi, I'm Luke. I'm a cybersecurity uh, consultant at Sunrise Digital Security, and I'm here today to talk to you about incident response and how you can protect your business. In planning for an incident, it's crucial that the organization does actually have a clear plan with people assigned and tasked to do specific duties inside the organization. When So when disaster does strike, then you're ready and prepared and you can respond to that in a, in a timely fashion. Um, so you should uh, appoint people, uh, team leaders and people that they know in key areas. So maybe your network department, uh, wider sort of IT manager and it, some sort of internal security team if you do have that. Uh, and they're well aware and also trained to respond to the uh, incident as and when it does happen. Um, you should also have a business continuity plan. Uh, so uh, when disaster does strike, then you can continue your core business operations. Uh, you should also have a summary of the tools, technologies and physical resources uh, that must be in place, including things like network intrusion detection systems and seam solutions uh, that is going to collect all your logs and make it much easier to understand what has gone wrong. Uh, so we can get you back up and running as quickly and remediate any issues. Initially, when we're responding to uh, an incident, it's important to understand how it happened and identify exactly what uh, went wrong. So we use a number of tools, uh, if the organisation has them, which we would have gone through in their uh, incident response plan. So uh, things like network intrusion detections and host intrusion detection systems, uh, going through the logs and events generated by those, to try and establish uh, if there's anything uh, out, out of normal there. Uh, then also uh, their SIM products as well which would uh, typically uh, act as log aggregators. So all of their endpoint servers, web gateways, firewalls, all of their logs would go into the SIM solutions. And then that allows us to start correlating logs, searching across them to really drill down into uh, the event codes that are going are being generated by the machines. So then we can build up a holistic picture of actually what's happened and what's gone wrong in order to allow this breach to take place. Uh, then uh, once we've established um, what, what has actually taken place, then we'd go uh, on to containing what's happened. Um, so obviously when you're containing uh, in an incident, it's crucial to preserve evidence, especially if it's gonna be uh, an incident which may have to be reported to the police or other crime authorities. So then uh, from there, uh, that might be typically like a short uh, containment thing, it might just be to isolate the host from the network to stop the uh, spread of uh, infection. This is something that's particularly important for worm type um, viruses, so things like WannaCry that propagate across the network, this is something that's absolutely crucial uh, to get in place straight away, but not turning off the computer because otherwise you're going to destroy all the evidence, so then we're going to have to uh, potentially uh, get it reinfected again or go to another host to actually understand what went wrong. Um, once we've uh, contained it, then we can work towards eradicating the uh, infection from your network. The final step uh, is just to apply the lessons learned uh, from uh, the organization. So uh, it's crucial then that uh, any lessons learned are applied to the business organizational wide so they can uh, not have the incident happen again. Um, there may be cases as well uh, that uh, regulatory bodies have to be notified as well. That would be something that comes after uh, the, the breach typically um, and has to be done within a certain number of days depending on uh, what that uh, regulatory body stipulates. Uh, that's something that as well Samurai can help with uh, to make sure that the business remains compliant and the uh, incident is dealt with as properly as possible.